Hey everyone, I hope you're okay and I hope you're still continuing to stay safe. Welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new here, welcome. My name's Ivy. So if I'm looking down a lot today, it's because I've got some notes and uh, everything's playing up today. Eyesight, memory, you name it. Anyway, this video is about taking prednisolone. Um, now the prednisolone tablets, they're small round tablets and mine were five milligrams. Um, they are a corticosteroid and these are a man-made drug that closely resembles the cortisol that our own bodies make in our adrenal glands. Now cortisol is also known as the stress hormones, so it helps us deal with everyday stresses. Um, the adrenal glands where the cortisol is made, they're located at the top of uh, kidneys. So you've got one located on the top of each kidney. So I was given prednisolone to help with my double vision because from the moment I opened my eyes till falling asleep, I had the double vision constantly. Um, my depth perception was non-existent and walking, I used to struggle walking because I'd be walking all over the place. And so I'd have to say to myself, come on Ivy, focus. And I'd walk slow so that I would have more chance of walking, you know, in a straight line. Um, yeah, so we'd been given the prednisolone the first week, my doctor said, right, just take five milligrams. And then the second week, go up to 10 milligrams, which is two tablets. The third week, three, tab three tablets, yeah, that's 15 milligrams. Fourth week, 20 milligrams, um, four tablets, and so forth. He said, but don't go over eight tablets, which was 40 milligrams. So, I stopped at 40 milligrams and I was taking eight tablets every day. Um, yeah, it sounds a lot. But, you know, what prednisolone does is it suppresses things. So, what the doctors wanted to do was for the steroid to stop, you know, to make my eyes sort of like get back to seeing one vision. Um, so eventually that's what happened. My double vision went away and yay, I can see again. But with taking the prednisolone, prednisolone, along came the weight gain. And the weight gain came quite quickly actually you know, and it wasn't great, you know, because it's like, ugh, weight gain. It was like, I had this weight gain, but yeah, hey, double vision's getting better. So, um, yeah, so I had the weight gain. Now, with prednisolone, it causes you to have a redistrib... Re let me get this word right. A redistribution of fat. So that fat re redistribution would go like to my cheeks. <clears throat> so it would go like to my cheeks. So I would get what is known as a moon face. Or it would, or it did redistribute as well to the back of my neck. So you'd get like a camel's hump. Nice. Uh, I got a redistribution of fat to my stomach. 
you know, my feet swelled up, my ankles swelled up. In fact, the fat just redistributed itself everywhere. Um, I don't know how much I gained because I don't have scales, but it was a lot. You know, when you just see yourself changing, it's like, wow. You know, so yeah, that was hard. It was hard going, but on a positive note, you know, I like that positivity. My double vision had gone. So I love that. Also, with taking prednisolone, um, I had a bone density test done at the hospital. And they said, oh, you, you, uh, you've got osteopenia, which is just before you go, you get osteoporosis. And osteo... <coughs> oh, gosh. <coughs> Excuse me. Osteoporosis is where, you know, your bones weaken. Um, also, I... Uh, was told that I was pre-diabetic. Yep. And these are things that the prednisolone causes, you know, because when we eat, our blood sugar goes up, but with prednisolone, it just keeps on going up, you know. And also my blood pressure was a little bit high before I started taking prednisolone, but that went stupidly high. You know, my blood pressure was like, at times, 153 over 100, which, yeah, is very high and very dangerous. So those were some of the things that, you know, uh, happened to me. Um, what else now? So, yeah. So, eventually, now that my double vision was stabilising... And, you know, amongst all the other things that I'd gotten from this, they tell you, OK, since you've stabilised for so long, to start coming down off the, you know, coming down from 40. So, again, I'm on 40, then go down next week, go down to 35. Week after that, 30. Week after that, 25. Week after that. No, so it wasn't weeks, it was like I'd come down and I'd stay like a month on 35, then a month at 30, a month at 25, and then go down to 20 milligrams. And at 20 milligrams, everything was still staying stable. And then I went to see, you know, my consultant again. And he was like, well, I think you can go down to 17, 17 and a half. I was like, yes, I'm getting there. Because by this time, I'd, I'd had enough of pregnancy alone. You know, I'd had enough of it. Just, ugh. But you can't stop taking pregnancy alone, right? Don't ever stop taking it. Because you will get withdrawal symptoms and they ain't good. So anyway, I'm down to 20. Doctor says I can start tapering down to 17.5 or was it 17.25, one of those, the next day. And so I did this. Now let me tell you, one breed of pain came into my life. Oh my gosh, in my legs. People, I had never felt anything like this pain. I, I don't know where it came from. But it was excruciating, it was intense, it was bloody well horrible. And I'm telling you, I, I wanted to I wanted to cry, I wanted to scream. For three nights I didn't sleep whatsoever. I was just up all night walking up and down. You know, if I tried to lift my foot up on the bed, ah, oh, it was so painful. I think it 20 milligrams, that's the threshold. When you start to go underneath, then pain can come back. And boy, it came back with a vengeance. And after three nights, I couldn't cope. I said, okay. And I went back up to 20 milligrams and the pain literally went away. 
And so I thought, okay, I'm going to stay on 20 milligrams for about a week, but I am determined to taper down from, you know, taper down from 20 milligrams because I just wanted off it. So I let a week go by uh, just to rest up from that pain. And then thankfully, when I went down to 17 point, whatever it was I went down to, that pain didn't come back. I was like, thank you, Lord, because whoo. And so, yeah, and that was a hell of a lot better, you know, second time around, so to speak. Um, Let me see what else. So, yeah, I have continually from the 17.25, I think, tapered down. So you go from, I went from 17.25 to 15, then I went to like 12, 12 and a half, then to 10, you know, and then I went to five because I had a doctor and he said, you've been on this prednisolone a lot, you know, I think it's time you came off it. And I was like, I agree. And so from 10, he said to me, go down to five. And um, so that's what I did. And, but steadily as I've been, you know, as I went down, so from five, I went down a milligram. So I'd go down to four, then to three, then to two, then to one. So I'm not taking prednisolone anymore because like I said, I felt my body needed a break from that. Um, my double vision has come back and along with a few other symptoms. Uh, yeah, I kind of knew it would, you know, but I do have a phone conversation uh, with my doctor in a couple of weeks and I'll tell him what's going on and no doubt he'll probably say, well, you need to go back on prednisolone again. Um, yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. I'm going to try and ask him if there's anything else that, you know, I could take in its place. But if I did go back on it, I know much more about it now and what things not to do. You know, because I don't want, you know, anything. And I don't know if, like I said, that, you know, I had test results that said I was pre-diabetic. Well, before lockdown, um, I did go and get another blood test, but that didn't come back and tell me anything apart from to go in another three months for another set of blood tests. Then lockdown happened. So I've been, you know, I've made changes. So I, I hope the next time I get blood tests to see if I'm pre-diabetic, they'll say that's, you know, gone. I'm no longer pre-diabetic. But yeah, that's my journey, taking prednisolone. Um, you know, I hope it's been interesting, this video, and you've learned a little something. <laughs> so if it's taken uh, some time, you know, you deserve an Oscar for that. So please like and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up share you know and oh remember let's smash this life see you in the next video bye for now take care